Hey, what's up everyone? So, in today's video, we are going to test the OD A3 TFSI-E. I just don't remember if it's the, uh, I think it's the, the 35. You have the choice now between the 35 and the 40. Uh, so you have different kind of powers. You have the 204 horsepower engine and you have the 245 horsepower engine. So first, let's put our car in EV mode so I can just show you. So we're going to be in EV mode and in drive select efficiency. Now you have in front of you, I've just put you the um, consumption. So up you have the fuel and down you have the electricity. And we're going to drive just a little bit just to show you. Um, so just in full EV mode and here you have the energy flow system just so you can see. I guess you should be able to see uh, correctly. So now what's new? So first you have two kind of two kinds of, of cars now. You have the 204 horsepower and 245 horsepower. Um, the power output of the engine I saw that they are the same. It's 150 horsepower for the fuel engine and uh, 107 for the electric engine. They seem to, um, you know, to control the maybe the flow of energy or I don't know what through a software, and it allows you to have around 45 um, horsepower more, and I think it was 30 newton meters of torque in addition of you know uh, of the, 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 the model just below. Uh, anyway, I will put all the detail in the description. In terms of range, I think we are around 67 if we look at the WLTP uh, cycle. I, I don't remember if it's the correct number. I need to, to, to check in my description what I have put. Now I just have uh, some doubt because I have done the review of the OD Q5e and, and now I just have a blank. You know, that's what happens when you test too many uh, hybrid cars. So first, what is the good thing about this car? First you have a bigger battery, that's great. The car is extremely comfortable and it's more dynamic with the chassis. So you know, when you take a turn, the car feels very great in your hand. It does not move, you know, like this too much. Um, it, it's very great. The protection from the noise from outside is also very good in this car, nothing to say. Uh, the uh, you know when you change when the car changes the gear it's also very good it's very fluid uh, f fluid not like the first ODA3 e-tron on on my side for my car it was more you know harsh when it changed gear sometimes so it was not really that comfortable for that the suspensions here are, are more stiff are, sti uh, are st st stiffer uh, in this one compared to the to the older um, A3 e-tron. Now, what has not changed? I, I don't remember exactly what I have said, you know, since the last time I've done the, you know, the YouTube podcast about this car. Now, the what has not really um, changed is that you still do not have a one pedal driving style, except you go, you know, in manual mode or in um, sport mode. So, you know, the bug I have published for the first A3 does not work anyway in this car and you do not have a manual, manually configurable um, one pedal driving. There is an intelligent uh, free wheel system like I have explained also in my Q5e review. So in this system, it will analyze, uh, the car will analyze here. As you can see here on the screen, the car breaks by itself uh, to recuperate some electricity. It did that because it saw uh, it's so that the car in front of me brake, so that's uh, that's why uh, it decided to slow the car and recuperate energy. I did not brake, but it's very important to know that this system will not allow you to make a full stop with this uh, intelligent uh, system. It will not. You need to brake, otherwise you will. Uh, you know, make an accident with the car in front of you. So this is something to imp important to keep in mind. So depending of multiple factors or criteria, the car will will either free wheel or decide to brake by itself. This depends on the camera system. 
if it sees a car, for example, braking. Uh, also, if you have, for example, it knows that there is a road sign that will ask you to slow down, for example. If you have a roundabout, if you're going downhill or, you know, uphilling, something like that. Uh, so with the GPS system, it's able to see if, you know, there are different levels when you are driving and therefore it will decide if you take the foot off the accelerator pedal to brake uh, or to go, you know, in a free wheel system. So this is very, this is good, but I would rather have also the possibility to control everything myself. So while well, that is not the case. Um, I think there was something else uh, very important. So this car has also now, unfortunately it has the e-sound system, which makes a little noise also um, up to 30 kilometers per hour. I've made a little post podcast last time and I said that I did not really like the sound because it was too strong for me. Maybe I was tired, or I don't know what. Today it seems that it was, you know, okay, I guess. Um, I think the, the, the sound is, you can feel it more at 20, 25 kilometers per hour. Uh, anyway, finally I would say it's bearable, but I'd rather not have it anyway. Uh, when you come from a Q5e or A3 e-tron, when where you don't have the sound, it's more comfortable, and that's all. <laughs> Nothing else to say. I will try to you know to make you listen to it um, after. Now, also the big advantage now is that you have a real hybrid system. So now I just drove a little bit for you with the EV, um, EV you know, full EV system. Now let's go uh, to a hybrid mode. <laughs> So the hybrid mode, let's go. So if I press twice, no, just one, once. Now we are in, as you can see here, a small icon. We are in hybrid uh, auto mode. You also have the uh, battery hold and battery charge that came back in the car. But for those two modes, you have to press it yourself on the screen. It will not work with the button. You can only switch from uh, EV to, oops, I pressed it again. You can only press it to uh, EV or to hybrid auto. So I've messed up all the buttons. Okay, here we are good. Here we are good. And that's it. We also have the drive select that uh, that came now. That is better than before. You have the efficiency, comfort, comfort auto or dynamic. In efficiency, it will allow you to have, you know, better fuel efficiency because it will pass the gear, you know, faster than uh, usual. And you have the dynamic to have a more sporty, uh, you know, gear gearbox. And you also have, of course, the sport mode that I will show you after. You can also go up to 130 kilometers per hour in full EV mode. It was only 120, if I remember well, before 20 or 30. I don't know. I think it was only 120 in the first Audi A3. Um, and now let's see. Now this is the very important part of the video, guys. It's the hybrid auto mode. I have always said the first Audi A3 e-tron was not optimized enough for fuel efficiency or even battery consumption efficiency. Um, and now let's see what happens. So now we are 60 kilometers per hour. It decided to engage the fuel engine. Now I accelerate back a little bit and it decides to turn on the engine. You know, on, off, on, off like that, but it's very comfortable. You don't really feel it. Uh, you, I have the impression you feel it less than on the first A3 e-tron. The gear system, the gearbox is also more, more comfortable, especially in the first a gear, because my car, the first A3 e-tron, had, you know, some clunk noise in the gear system sometimes. As you can see now, it asked me to take off my foot off the accelerator pedal, and now we're in a free wheel system. If it deems necessary, it will engage the, uh, you know, to the, uh, how do you, I don't remember how you call this in English, but you know, to recuperate some energy. Here it's not the case because we don't have any uh, difference of speed or the car breaking uh, in front of us, so it will not ask to Okay, so now let's see, I take it off and now you see it breaks by itself, but it will not make a full stop. I need to stop myself now and there you go.
very comfortable car very comfortable car way better than the first a3 maybe more hard but also the car is new And look, the fuel consumption, it's just great. 1.2 kilometers, uh, sorry, 1.3 liter per 100 kilometers. So that's not bad, you know, considering that it can then switch back to the um, electric engine if necessary, as it is now, you see. So, a last thing that I would like to say is for the uh, cockpit, for the virtual cockpit, please, if you are really interested, you know, in the whole hybrid stuff, you need to take the, um, how is it already, the, the virtual cockpit plus feature, because uh, the with the uh, standard virtual cockpit like this one, you only have, as you can see here, the RPM, the RPMs, you do not see the power that you're asking from the car. Uh, if you remember of the other uh, Q5e uh, TFSI E video and also the first A3, uh, each one you have the power from 0 to 100 and also the boost feature. Here you do not see it because, well, it's not the virtual cockpit plus. So if you want to have this and also you can see when the car uh, will decide to go to EV mode or fuel mode you need to have this option if you do not see what I'm talking about just go check my Q5 TFSI E video you will see what I'm talking about about this cluster now let's go to the uh, the sport mode when we also have the dynamic one um, drive select It's great, it's great. Uh, this car is should be the lower engine. It should be the 204 horsepower, I guess. How you know it accelerates, but still, it's good. You don't need the 245 horsepower if you don't want. It will consume a little bit more um, electricity, not fuel. More electricity, at least, than fuel if you take the other engine. Oh my God, it's it's you know, it's uh, it's powerful. But as it's not a quattro, you can sleep, you know, very easily. You slide on the road very easily. So now let's go back to my preferred mode, which is the electric one, the hybrid, the real hybrid mode. And of course, uh, where is it? The uh, efficiency mode. Let's go like that. Okay, perfect. Oh, really great I love this car I really love this car it's just great if you want some pictures and photos of the inside of the car you can check my a3 my standard a3 uh, videos it's anyway it's exactly the same uh, car you know inside there is nothing different about it Okay guys, so I think I will stop the video right here. I wanted to show you how good this car is now. Um, this car, I do recommend it for you, at least if you are, you know, interested to, you know, to this kind of car, uh, you could at least test it. It's very good. Uh, I highly recommend it at least for you to try it by yourself and make your own opinion about it. And um, I guess I will see you in another video. Bye-bye.